The movie starts where we see the wonderful wonder line where there are so many cute animals who have to make people happy by what they are doing. Then the scene shifts to a family in which we see June. We see a girl named Nami who is talking about Wonderline with her mother. Then an idea comes to her mind and she says why shouldn't Paint make a flying fish ride, her mother likes her idea. And she says it in Teddy Paint's ear, which the original Paint hears and uses his magic brush to make a similar ride that makes people very happy and Paint says, thank you, whoever you are. Then her parents begin to comfort her, but then June asks her mother if Wonderline really exists. To which her mother says yes, because the girl who imagined her can do anything that makes her happy. Then the next day she starts making Wonderline with all her friends in which his best friend is Banksy and together they make him a ride, which leads to disaster all around but John enjoys them all but it turns out that John's parents are the ones who hate him. They go to pay for the damage, which makes his mother very angry, to which June tells them that mom, you said that I can do anything, to which her mother says that this time, June. You only have an injury on your hand, what would I have done if something happened to you? You should take care of yourself as well as others. Then they both start making the wonder line in the house. Slowly they make the wonder line in the whole house. June's parents are very dear, they don't stop him from anything, they love him very much. June Y is growing up and everything is going well, but one day John's mother gets a call that makes her very sad, and signs John's Wonderline map and tells John that I, I am sick and only some special doctors can help me which is why I have to leave here, but you keep making your Wonderline, June asks when will you come back, but she says I am on my own about that. I can't say anything. Then she leaves. June tells her, bye. She is quite broken after knowing her mother. Then we see that one day June is playing with her Wonderline. The idea comes and she says it in Pant's ear, but she can't say it which makes her very sad and she wraps up all the Wonderline and bans it in the box and she also puts the teddy pants away. Now June. She has completely changed, she cares a lot about her father, she also stops opening up with her friends. They try hard, but June does not come with them. One day her uncle and aunt come and tell her to make Wonderline again, but June says that Wonderline is not real and then she gets angry, and one day she has to go on a trip to her school. She is praised a lot, but she doesn't believe her father somehow manages to send her away. Then she asks Bank for help and he agrees. June thanks Bank and leaves. Going a little further, June finds a paper signed by their mother, which she tries to catch, but it starts to fly away and she starts running after him. She does it, but she doesn't reach him. As she runs, she reaches the thick forest where he stops. Var June picks her up, but there she sees a ride in which she sits. She chases him and reaches the original Wonderline, where she sees cute animals, whom she is happy to see but they are all running away in fear of someone, including June with them. They are taken and finally they reach a safe place, where June asks them what happened. So the Baloo bomber tells him that everything was going well when suddenly the clockwork's wing running the park stopped, causing black and thick clouds to appear, causing many cute teddy animals to turn into dangerous zombies. Since then they have been breaking up the park and feeding their parts to the thick clouds. Then John asks them about the paint, to which he explains that he went to fix the clockwork wings, but they everyone surrounds him and he has been missing since then. Then some animals take the paper from John's bag with his mother's signature on it. They all ask John where he got this map. Is. On which she tells that it was made by her and her mother, then everyone says to her that means you can fix that clock. On which she says yes, I can do that. Then the teddy animals attack again, which makes all the animals start running around, but they all attack John, but Peggy Greta saves John with her own life. They all arrive at the cute animals and John's base, then John tells them that I can fix the clock, but you guys have to take me there, to which they all take John there. June looks at the clock, but she doesn't understand what's wrong. But then his map suddenly flies in the air, in the process of catching it. They all reach a place where there are many teddy zombies who start attacking them with aerial bombs and everyone else runs away. June gets stuck in between and falls down, but Bomber saves her with the help of an umbrella. 
running, June reaches a place where there is no gravity at all, and there she is seen cute Peanut. Seeing him, she goes inside, but he says to her, Who are you? To which June tells him that I'm Bomber and Grata's friend, you go there, they'll all be happy to see you, but he says no, I'm not going back, I'm safe here. If you make something again with the marker, then the paint says that it is all a lie, I have not made anything. I used to hear a voice in my ears, which told me to make, I used to make it, but that voice would disappear and never come again. So June realizes that he is talking about her mother's voice then she asks him if the voice stopped one day to which Pant says yes. They both get emotional but there it is. The zombies attack them again, so Pant saves John and surrenders himself to the zombies, much to John's dismay. She explains that because of this, Wonderline is in danger from her beloved, but she thinks that she will understand now and together they will save the paint and the whole park by supporting her. Min they say, goodbye, and leave, which makes June lonely and sad. And she starts crying, but then the map comes flying to her and it gives June courage. Then she a witch goes inside and uses her mind to drive it and with its help she rebuilds the broken bridge, which makes all her friends happy and ends their anger with her. Then June says we have to go get the paint to escape. Then they reach a place where they see the paint in the dark then June tells her friends that now I have to go to her then the paint she goes to, him who is tied with a rope. She tells him that the voice she used to hear was her mother's and she never gives up, but Pant says I am nothing without her. I can, to which she whispers in his ear, Pant, you make the worst ride in the world, what are the straws you have made? To which Pant is very happy and begins to make a ride that makes him happy. Get rid of the darkness they come. Their pets are being eaten by zombies, but they come and save them. Then June sees on the map that her name is written on it, which makes June realize that the clock must have her name on it. Gee. Then she tells Paint to write my name on the clock and that will fix her. Gee then Paint does the same which makes the clock start ticking again. And the whole system is fine and all the zombies are. Teddy transforms into the original cute Teddy, which makes them all happy and they go back to their work and June tells Pant that now you will hear my voice. She hugs her father and then she goes to her room and takes out all the toys again and starts making Wonderline again. And she again makes a nice Wonderline in her house where all her friends also come and she keeps paying the paint from there. This is where our story ends. Please subscribe to our channel Recap Queen and don't forget to like the video. Thanks.